The Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green, the ranking member of the ONI subcommittee for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, let me start by calling Lehman to our attention. As you know, this was the largest bankruptcy in American history, and its uh, failure created a chain reaction that had a tremendous impact on the economic order. In 2011, the FDIC examined how Lehman could have been wound down under Dodd-Frank, uh, and I believe the report concluded that it could have been done in such a way as to uh, allow taxpayers to be off the hook and cause creditors uh, as well as uh, investors, uh, shareholders, to share the burden of the cost. Uh, my question, Mrs. Uh, Ms. Baer, uh, to you is, uh, could you please uh, elaborate on how this could have been accomplished uh, such that uh, we would have preserved uh, economic stability and avoided having taxpayers bear the burden of the cost? So, so yes, that report concluded that uh, under Title II, systemic disruptions could have been avoided and that also the, the losses for the creditors, for the bondholders, uh, would be substantially less. Uh, Lehman's bondholders still haven't been paid yet, uh, and the losses uh, are going to be substantial uh, once, once that happens. And the strategy uh, that was articulated in that paper is the one that the FDIC says it will use, which is single point of entry, taking control of the holding company, continuing to, health, uh, to fund the healthy portions of the operation, to avoid systemic re reduction, to maintain the credit flows, require derivatives counterparties to continue to perform on their contracts, whereas in bankruptcy they have this privileged status where they can repudiate their contracts, grab their collateral and go, uh, which, which creates a lot of more losses for bondholders, and that's one of the reasons why uh, bondholders are going to be suffering such severe losses in layman. So uh, I think it is a viable strategy. Uh, is it perfect? No. Is a lot of more work to be done to make it work as well as it should? Uh, yes. But uh, I do think we would have had a much different result. And ironically, bankruptcy proponents, those who want to change bankruptcy to make it work for financial institutions, which I'm all for, be careful with that because one of the things some of them want to do is provide government funding into a bankruptcy process. So if you don't like the fact that the government can provide some liquidity support in a Title II process, which will be repaid off the top, uh, be careful, because the bankruptcy folks want that same kind of mechanism in a bankruptcy process. And the reason they want to do that is because a financial institution, whether it's large or small, its franchise will be destroyed if it can't fund its assets anymore. It's not like a brick and mortar company. It has got to have liquidity support to maintain the healthy parts of its franchise. If you're going to provide that type of mechanism, make sure it's under the control of the government, which has got a public interest mandate. Uh, so I, I think that does need to be an important part of the debate about bankruptcy worth is, worth, uh, versus Title II. But I do think this is a viable strategy. I think it would have worked a lot better, served the country better, and ironically, Lehman creditors as well, if it had been used in that case. But we didn't have it then. Thank you. Now a question for everyone. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to ask a really difficult question, but you're all brilliant people, and uh, this should be easy for you, uh, given what you've accomplished in life and what you've studied. If you genuinely thought in your heart of hearts that the failure of a given entity would bring down the American economy as well as the world economy, if you genuinely, genuinely thought that it would, and the only way to prevent it would be the utilization of tax dollars to be repaid, you genuinely believe that we may bring down the American economy if you do not respond, and tax dollars to be repaid is the only methodology by which you can prevent this, would you take the measure of using the method available to you, Mr. Fisher? I'm going to ask, ask for a yes or no, given that time is of the essence. My quick answer, Congressman, again, you're a personal friend of mine, but my, my quick answer is this. It's better to create I the conditions. I reject for, your quick answer, and I have to do this. <laughs> it's and better to create the greater conditions noble where American that's not possible, friend, and but that's what I, we propose. Here's what I'm going to ask. If you would not, if you would not do this, if you would not utilize the only method available, which is tax dollars and the American economy and the world economy is about to go under, raise your hand, anyone. Let the record show 
that there were no hands raised, including my very good friend, uh, Mr. Fisher. <laughs> and uh, I would also say this to you, friends. This is what Dodd-Frank attempts to do. It only has the ability or cords the ability if, if we are about to have a tragedy of, of uh, economic import uh, comparable to what happened with Lehman. And the as a result, as a result, it would not allow us to bring down the economy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.